Hey everybody, this is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about squash and zucchini. And I've been noticing on various Facebook pages and social media that there's a lot of gardeners who are concerned about uh, why they haven't gotten fruit setting yet. And a lot of times it is a very simple, very simple solution. Uh, I mean, there's really not a whole lot you can do about this, but there's a good reason for it, okay? A lot of times you will have flowers that look like these, okay? The stem and those kind of tend to come off first, and those are actually the male flowers of the zucchini or, or squash, okay? Now, zucchini and squash require that you have male and female flowers. They do not have perfect flowers, which a perfect flower would have... Um, the male and female all built together uh, into one flower. So in this case here, you can see that that is definitely a male flower. Now why do I know it's a male flower? Because if I look right here along the stem area, okay, that little spot here, there should be something there if it were a female. Now I'm looking around at the other flowers I have right here and I don't see any that are this stage yet that are female, okay? But I do see one coming, so I'll show you what that is. I'm gonna scoot around here to the other side of the plant. And if you see this one right here, okay? But there's the flower forming, and there's the base of the flower. And you see this kind of oval shape underneath it. That is actually the ovary, and that's what forms the fruit. So the pollination happens on the flower, and then the pollen goes down into the ovaries, fertilizing it, which then the plant can produce squash or zucchini. In this case, it's a Romanesco zucchini that I've got planted. So if you don't have both flowers, don't worry about it, okay? All you do is you remove some of the male flowers so that you can encourage more flowers to grow and eventually you'll end up getting some female flowers also. You don't want to remove all the male flowers because you've got to have them for the pollination part. But, you know, one common myth I, I hear a lot online is that if you're not getting um, fruit forming, that it's a pollination issue. And that's kind of true in that you don't have the right types of flowers there. But a lot of the time, it is just simply the fact that the flowers have not formed yet so that they can transfer the pollen over. Now, once you do that, then everything should be okay. And you should have pretty good cross-pollination. I never have to uh, hand-pollinate mine because there's plenty of pollinators out here. You can see these little ants running around. They actually do a pretty good job of pollinating the flowers. Um, the bees come in, and I don't spray anything on these, so... Uh, it's all completely natural, and whenever I get a vine borer or something like that, they pretty much take it out the plant, uh, just because I'm not using any kind of herbicides, I mean, not herbicides, pesticides. So, so that's basically it in a nutshell, is that if you're not getting fruit, take a look at the flowers, make sure that you've got male and female flowers growing at the same time. If you don't have any female ones coming, then take off a few of the male ones so the plant can re-exert its energy back into itself, produce some more flowers so that maybe you'll get both of them. It's kind of a potluck, it's random, and uh, you don't know what you're gonna get, but I'd say your odds are probably 50-50. And there is a tendency for the male flowers to come out first on these plants, so that is most likely what the issue is. So if you're not getting your squash, forming just yet that's probably what the problem is so thanks for watching this is dave from growing the home garden please uh, subscribe and let me know if you have any questions have a great day